Hi, this is Sam O'Sullivan for the ProAudioFiles.com and uh, I'm just going to do a little overview of uh, the experiment I did for linear versus minimum phase EQ in Pro Tools. Uh, you can see here what I did um, is I have a signal generator. Um, I actually ended up using the same signals um, so that they were precisely on cyclically. Um, and um, I put a minimum phase EQ, the SSL, um, and a linear phase EQ um, and adjusted the same frequencies and I also adjusted for the delay that is uh, caused by the linear phase EQ because there's a lot of delay um, and then I tracked the results and what you can see here is the regular sine wave um, if I just zero out the peaks here you can see that the regular sine wave I generated peaks at negative 17, both of them do, when they're running through the bypassed linear phase and multiple uh, minimum phase EQ. Um, now here's a 10 dB cut at 50 Hz uh, with, a, with a shelf. Um, I'll zero these out again. So you can see already in the minimum phase EQ, even though it's a 1 kilohertz tone, um, cutting at 50 hertz, you're already losing 2 d, uh, 0.2 dB due to phase shift. Um, or or you actually, you're gaining 2 d, 0.2 dB due to phase shift. And um, if we move on here, we'll see that when you cut um, 10 dB at 5 kilohertz, um, you get even more of a difference. Now all of a sudden you're gaining 2.4 dB or you're losing 2.4 dB from the minimum phase and uh, you're losing only 0.1 from the linear phase EQ in terms of amplitude. The, the signal looks very consistent throughout all these waveforms. Now if I continue on now we can see a huge difference between the size of these waveforms just by looking at them. Um, but we'll zero out the peak here again and wow this is negative 24 so this is actually lost quite a bit of DB and this has hasn't even reached a DB of loss um, and here we have boosting obviously we can tell we're boosting it looks like the minimum phase has got a lot more going on than the, than the linear phase uh, this is at 5 kilohertz which is obviously a lot closer to the fundamental and it is within the harmonics so these peak out at negative 12 and negative 5.6 so they're adding 10 dB so it seems you know for a harmonic character it really pays to go with the linear phase EQ because you can really adjust the harmonic character without actually adjusting the amplitude levels very much but with minimum phase you're gonna have a lot of phase shift and you're gonna have um, you're just going to end up having different amplitudes than you might think you have and it will affect your apparent loudness and your absolute loudness um, in ways you might not expect and when you're mastering with linear phase um, your relative loudness will be um, your perceptual loudness will be more accurate and uh, it'll be easier and cleaner to work with that so enjoy it